Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our podcast. It is your hosts, Steffi. And Julia. And together, we're still derps and burps. And we missed Always you guys. Well. We missed you. We haven't seen you for a whole episode. How, how, yeah. how was it for you? It was the first time we have an episode only every two weeks. It feels a little bit weird for me. But it also it feels does. good to have more to talk about today, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know how we're how gonna have like over half an hour news, and then we talk for <laughs> half an hour about about the topic as always. But and then we disappear again for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> no, for one week actually, technically. Um, also, forgot to say it's episode eighty six, guys. In case you're wondering mm-hmm. who, uh, how far we're in already, we need to think about something cool for our hundredth episode. Yes, we we gotta we gotta write that down. Um. But yeah, guys, today is going to be obviously a little bit of updates because we haven't um, seen each other for two weeks. I mean, kind of, kind of not, kind of a little bit. Um, And uh, our main topic today is going to be talking a little bit about gaming updates, about the two uh, big games that are in the room right now. I I mean, technically, there's also Starfield. Is it called Starfield, right? Mm -hmm. Starfield as well. I was thinking of... I didn't play it yet. It looks really good. I was good. thinking of trying it. Yeah. It so um, the two games we're going to be specifically talking about today is Baldur's Gate 3, our, uh, my favorite uh, walking red flag Asterion, mainly, obviously. And then uh, CS2, because I finally mm-hmm. got access. I'm going to tell Steffi a little bit about the, the whole game. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and we're going to update you about everything that's, hap- that's happening. Uh, none of us is uh, playing Starfield yet, but I've seen a lot of cool stuff. And I think once my hyperfixation with um, Baldur's Gate disappears, I might actually give that a try. So, mm-hmm. uh, before we get into the whole gaming talk, though, Steffi, update me a little bit. What's what's going on? What happened in the last two weeks? There's gonna there's going to be some gaming and the updates as well. So, first of all, I want to say I finished the One Piece live action, mm-hmm. and I'm just mm-hmm fucking in love with everything every character is so cool obviously i do not have any uh i cannot compare it with the anime because i i have never watched it before not even like a single episode or anything no i haven't but and i know this is a challenge but i kind of want to start watching it on the side when i work on etsy stuff Mm -hmm. depending on Mm -hmm. if i watch it on like in japanese or english let's see um i know there's a lot of filler episodes and everything i just I like the setting so a lot. Over I like a thousand episodes. I know. Also, yeah, do you know, know that there's no romance in One Piece? It's okay. Nathan told I me about it. I can make the romance on Rule Thirty Four, so that's that's fine. It's okay. We don't need it. Nathan anyway. actually told me about it. So so we started. Sorry to interrupt you. We started watching the One Piece live action as mm-hmm. well. Um, for me, I watched a little bit of the anime when I was younger. You know, mm-hmm. it was like on Adult too, so I watched like an episode here and there. But it was never like a huge fan of one piece and i know barely anything nathan mm-hmm. never really watched the anime but he uh, read a lot of the manga so we even have mm-hmm. like i think half of one piece's mangas at home right now in french nice. sadly so i can't read it um oh, but like yeah. every time you watch an episode or not every time but a few times nathan came with like the manga and he's like they made this so good look that's how it looks in the in the, in the manga oh. it's, it's so cool they did that so well um so yeah really also enjoyed i'm not done yet because um the thing with nathan is that he doesn't like binge watching stuff so we watch like one episode every two days or something so i'm like oh, i want to watch more but it's also kind of cool because i feel like if i would just finish it i would just forget about it so fast again if that makes sense and then we would have to wait for mean, so yeah. long so it has good and bad sides um but yeah. yeah also big fan um for me the last episode i watched was the one with the restaurant where they meet sanji uh, and have the sword fight. Oh. Mm. Sanji's so cool as well. Like, Dude, I'm in love them. with Sanji. I'm, uh, Sanji. Have you seen him shirtless already? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet, but uh, I'm, I'm so far, I'm, uh, uh, what's his name? Boogie? Buggy? Buggy. Buggy, the clown. Buggy. Chop, chop. Dude, the actor is so fucking hot. Chop. Oh my God. Why? Is, okay, did you talk to Kirsten? No. Okay, then I won't expose her on the podcast. Talk to her. Is she also a buggy? You're gonna, Dude, you're gonna buggy thank me so later. Hot. You're gonna thank me later. Dude, buggy is yeah. a YouTube. No, expose her. It's again. fine. She'll she'll be nah, fine. Nah. With it. 
you two fit perfectly together like just text her listen, just text listen her. you you know oh me gosh. i am a sucker for walking red flags doesn't matter if it's one of the men behind me i'm in a healthy relationship in real life but i fantasize and and, and virtually date red flags in my heart i have a heart for red flags okay the bigger the red flag the 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 better the crush, the more in love I'm with the person. That is just who I am at, at my core, right? And um, yeah. seeing Buggy just uh, ring the bell. <laughs> Same as Hysterion. <laughs> oh my Same God. as MGK, all of them. You know, just just me and my red flag. So yeah, sorry to interrupt you. But yeah, also big fan of the, the live action. Uh, go on, yeah. Shefi. And I'm going uh, to... So yeah, I have no comparison. But How did Max you meet her in anime? Cut? Yes, no, or? we texted like on Instagram, you know, the platform. Uh, okay, okay. Like she texted me. <laughs> no, can you link it to me? Never. Instagram. We're like on on the internet, like in Google. We have in Google geschrieben. Ah, on you know? the on the interwebs you met, and then you on the interwebs we met, and then we okay. talked about the buggy fetish people apparently have. So, yep. uh, but yeah, Somebody I don't did. have any comparison. But Max watched the anime, and he said that's so good. Like how they made the the scenes. Mm-hmm. It's just like exactly as in the anime, mm-hmm. and all the characters. Like, sorry if you hear that. Oh, um, there's a lot of like bikes crossing recently. I don't know. Yesterday as well. It is uh, Harley Treffen. Yeah, not in Graz. Yeah, but they drive. But the back. maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love every single character, every single actor. All of the people in the show are just so incredibly amazing. Like, Did you do a little really, bit of research around the show? Not really, no. Okay, I can tell you. I just found out that Zorro, like the actor of Zorro, is also the main character in Knights of the Zodiac, mm-hmm. which is probably something Ben and I are going to enjoy a lot when we watch. I can show you the trailer later. What is it I'm about? The, the movie is out yet. It's a... Uh, it's basically a clusterfuck of superheroes with, I don't know what it's about with the Zodiacs. And I, I can't remember properly, but it looked cool. He He's a hot guy. So we were like, okay, we're going to watch it. Okay, okay. Um, so it's the same actor. I The only thing I did was stalking the people on Instagram so I could follow them or I followed them. But I didn't do any other research. Okay, let me, let me fill you in a little bit. So yeah. first of all, um, why... This is so good. So there's a lot of live action um, versions of animes. There's, I think, a Attack on Titan one. There's like a bunch of them and they're all flopped. I think yeah. most of them flopped. They're, most of them are crap. You can't watch them. You don't even want to touch them. Um, Death one Note of... is the worst ever. I never watched like, it. I don't. Holy shit. Oh my God. You know how, how light Yagami's name is? Hmm? It's Light Turner. They just whitewashed everything in the show it's insane it's it, ah. it just hurt. everything hurts so so much oh no that it sounds hurts horrible. so much <laughs> yeah it's awful that's bad that's bad um so anyway um on the on the netflix adaptation it's actually oda so the creator of one piece that um, mm-hmm. made the mangas made the the anime and everything mm-hmm. he was part of every piece of journey of uh creating the show so he yeah. chose the actors um, there's even ah, you cool. can you can check this like on the Netflix, TikTok, and YouTube. There's like a whole thing where the actor of Luffy actually meets Oda, and Oda is a super secretive oh. person. He never shows himself. He never even shows his face. So in a whole um, thing, they censored his face with like mm-hmm. a fish and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can just see Oda talking about how important it was for him. Um, to watch like all of those audition tapes and handpick all of those characters because he wanted to have like the the feeling that this person really re- represents the character um, yeah. that he imagined while he created uh, mm-hmm. the manga. So mm-hmm. he he just meets Luffy and he's like, "You are Luffy. You're like the reincarnation. You're like created to play Luffy. You are the character." Aww. And you can just see how like. The actor is like starting to cry and everything. It's a really, yeah. really cute thing uh, you should watch. And um, another thing is that I think for the first episode, each episode cost $15 million. So there's a huge, huge budget behind it. Uh, mainly because 
um, most of the um, the how do you say it the the scenery like they built mm-hmm. the sets fully so like there's nice. obviously there's a lot of like animation in it as well with uh, or like uh, how do you say is it is it animation is that how you CGI call it and stuff? CGI thank you there's mm-hmm. a lot of C- CGI obviously with all the devil fruit kind of stuff um, but they bo- they they built so much um, of the scenery um that it got really really expensive and like really really huge yeah. and a lot of a lot of work and um mm-hmm. they just wanted to make sure that this live action is a good one and i think the route mm-hmm. that went with having like straight up you have to think about this is like kind of like the pilot of it right if mm-hmm. you know how big one piece is and everything obviously like they cut a lot of stuff out but the way they selected what goes into it was like supervised yeah. by oda that's why i think it also um, feels so good because you have the actual creator of the storyline mm-hmm. <clears throat> more or less supervising or like um, double everything, checking yeah. everything right so yeah um i think that why that's one reason of why it's so good so we yeah. can only hope so from what i i think somebody in twitch chat told me i don't know if this is true or not please fact check it um and, and don't trust me 100 percent on that uh the only issue that uh, I heard that people are afraid of is that from my source they said that the next episodes only gonna have so that they're creating now right or like the mm-hmm. next ones to come they only have a budget of around eight million per episode so the mm-hmm. production value is gonna go down obviously maybe now seeing how successful the show is right yeah. maybe the changes yeah. um and maybe yeah. they can keep the high standard um which I really 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 hope. And um, mm-hmm. if you know a little bit about the story is that everything after this is just going to get crazier and crazier. It's going to yeah. need more CGI because of all of yeah. the devil's fruit, devil fruit stuff. Um, no. So there's so much more to come and I'm really excited to see where they're going. I really mm-hmm. hope that they can keep the budget or even get more budget. Um, again, I'm not even finished with the eight episodes yet. Like, What is that? Like five episodes in, four episodes in or something that we are? um but yeah they just met sanshi they had the 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 sword fight between uh zoro and what's his name uh da, da, i know who you mean but then i forgot his name the guy with the big the warlord sword. the warlord yeah, yeah the warlord. exactly one of the seven um, warlords um so yeah i i absolutely love it as well poor zoro yeah. Sorry. i'm gonna nurse him i'm here for him you're gonna fix him yeah no just medically mm-hmm. he's fine in the head it's cute mm-hmm. i like mm-hmm. him he's fine in the head you think you don't think he's, he's a walking sassy. red flag no nah, you don't think that he has a alcohol issue zoro he's you drinking? didn't notice that he's getting drunk all the time Mm-mm. Mm-mm. it's not happening in the show yet are you okay did you not yeah. watch the show he's getting when drunk they- all the time just what? drinking alcohol all the time. Am I blind? I think so. I mean, not a. I don't know if you can count it as an alcoholic, but in every episode he gets drunk. Really? Mm. I was once. See, that's things I just. Yeah, I, I just mean, maybe maybe it's just blend because, out. Like, I I I <clears throat> grow up in in like a family with alcoholism, but like I just notice him drinking all the time. Every episode he's drinking. What? So really? I'm pretty sure okay, he has I need to rewatch this. He always like, oh, I need a drink. Oh, I need to drink. I need to. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Okay. Yep. Yep. Nope. Didn't notice that. He's if I'm an honest. alcoholic. He never deals with his feelings. He bears them. He just wants okay. to fulfill one promise that he made a long time ago. Yep. He doesn't want to connect with anybody. You know. Totally. Yep. Walking beige black red. Right? I I understand him. Of course. Like I'm just, just saying together. deep inside like, Steffi, deep inside you're just as much as me uh a sucker for red flag. Probably yeah, obviously I am. I'm just not the red flag uh or the person that feels like how to say No, nah, actually you're right. You just think I don't kind think I can yeah, 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 yeah. That's mm. the that's the difference. That's the only difference. But they're both red flags. Yeah, kind yeah. of. But it's fine, it's, you know. It's fine. 
we can we can pick yeah. them all, Steffi. Or we can we can we can stand by their sides <laughs> while they're being the reddest black of them all. Even if it's just for one night, it's okay. If I try to fix you one night, don't even worry. <laughs> that's fine. Perfect, perfect. So, okay. That's all we want. <laughs> so beside that, mm -hmm. um, another live action, Ahsoka. The last mm -hmm. episode was kind of full-on hardcore fan service, like full-on hardcore fan service. I constantly have to like tell Max, he's kind of like getting into it and he knows mm -hmm. background stuff. So he's he understands some things, but most of the things, obviously he doesn't because he hasn't watched Rebels or Clone Wars. So there's all the characters. Basically, the whole show is fan service, in my opinion, because you need to know everything about the characters that are in this show or most of it to understand why mm -hmm. they're so connected. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious in which direction it's gonna be going because there's only, I'm not even sure how many episodes there are, eight or ten as well. We are on the fourth right now. The fourth was one episode I really enjoyed before that. I was like, okay, let's see how it's going and, and if it's going well or going to go well with the story. So <clears throat> it's just nice to be in the world and I hope they don't fuck it up. Mm. That's all I'm going to say about this. And then what else do we have? I'm doing a lot of like Etsy stuff at the moment. I'm creating uh, schedules for streamers. They look so they nice. They can edit. Thank you. I'm currently like doing the Valorant themed one, which mm -hmm. you can full on. I plan on, I plan on making this fully customizable so you can even change the languages of everything. So if you mm -hmm. want to do it in German or French or whatever language you speak as a streamer, you can change everything on uh, the schedule to your mm -hmm. language. How are you going to like... sell it in the Photoshop file or? No, it's, I sell it on Etsy and then they get links for Canva. And in Canva, you can add everything. Okay, okay. Because most of the people either don't have Photoshop, right? Or don't know how to work with Photoshop yeah, or yeah, Illustrator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in my case, so in Canva is super easy to use. It's a very intuitive, and you can every uh, you can do everything with the free version. You don't mm -hmm. have to have the pro version. So you basically purchase my schedule on Etsy, and then you get two links where you have a, a widescreen version like nineteen twenty to ten eighty, and then an Instagram version for your stories. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm currently working on those. I really enjoyed doing this. It's it's a cool thing to learn new things because I didn't have any idea about Canva before, but the program is just so easy to use and so nice. And there's so many great templates on it already. I create everything in Illustrator and then built like rebuild most of it in Canva mm -hmm. to make it like customizable for people. Like mm -hmm. even even social media icons and stuff, you can move them around for yourself if you don't like the position. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this right now. Um, beside that, we went, Ben, my cousin and I went to a K-pop dance workshop last mm -hmm. Saturday. And it was super fun. Like, I have never taken any dance classes before. Beside the one for Max mom's wedding, right? But you can't really count that as like, I, did, I never did hip-hop or pop dance classes. So that was my first time. And it was for an hour. She kind of chose a not so easy choreography and song because it was a bit of a like faster song. Mm -hmm. And even Ben said it wasn't that easy. And Ben is like doing a lot of like choreography stuff at home, right? Because he likes to know the moves of Blackpink music videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but it was super nice. She even posted it on Instagram because she was filming us. And I was, I asked her if she could send me the videos and I sent you one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sent you one. So, it was super fun and the plan now is to do uh she's doing seven classes for the next seven weeks mm -hmm. each an hour and every class we're going to have a different choreography mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we get to just know the whole k-pop dancing stuff and routine and everything and then let's see if the if the class is a success because this is also the first time for her she's doing this mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's kind of like an introvert she's like a very good dancer but I think she needs some feedback from our side as well to like improve how she could learn and teach uh, mm -hmm. the moves and everything. Because we kind of like, we got thrown into cold water. We were standing there and she was like, okay, now we do this and this. And then 
obviously with the counting like one, two, three, four, and when we start. But mm -hmm. it was like as if you know how to dance already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was a bit hard in the beginning to get like get the hang of it, but it worked. And to be honest, after 50 minutes, I'm kind of proud like what what we have achieved after that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we all. How many people were in the class? Um, three, seven, I think, seven or eight. And she had two workshops, so probably the same size the other day. And then now we are us three. We signed up for it, and then another friend signed up for it, and another girlfriend of mine signed up for it. So we're five people at least who are having a lot of fun together. Nice. The alarm is from my alarm. Side. Yeah, again. Alarm. Let's go. So gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna learn straight kids moves probably bts blackpink i'm super excited for it just here for the fun sis i'm gonna move my body a little bit right so nice super nice excited for that and beside that still waiting for the league world song maybe oh, yeah, by the true. time this podcast is out maybe the league song's out already because, because the lc finals uh, were yesterday yeah yesterday finals true so maybe it's dropping this week should freaking hope should. so mm -hmm. when do you have your uh, k-pop classes is it like once a week fridays fridays it's fridays uh from five to six okay approximately so yeah um is max joining anything else no nah, i didn't ask him and i don't think he's enjoying this so <laughs> i don't think he would join that but i can ask him maybe he wants to i don't think so though yeah I don't but, think but I, I think with ben like i want to see ben ben is a great yes. dancer in yeah did he do any be dancing before fun. yeah right um i'm not sure if he took any classes but she's uh he's doing a lot at home or did okay or does every now and then and yeah beside that my masochistic side came out a little bit again because i was thinking of playing overwatch again don't ask me why <laughs> I have no clue. Every now and then, it just pops up in my head, like, oh, hey, you can play Overwatch again. And then I'm like, no, Stephanie, remind yourself how awful it is. Mm -hmm. Don't play it. So I'm going back to League. League is obviously <laughs> so much better, right? Uh... I'm enjoying that a lot. Apex looks tempting as well at the moment. Um, FPS games in general, I'm kind of tempted to play again now that it's still not getting cooler, but hopefully getting cooler soon. Mm. At least overnight. At, at least it's cooling off overnight, yeah. right? So. Like yeah. the, the the evenings are already that way that uh, the mosquitoes are still there, sadly. But um, at least you can start oh. somewhat uh, wearing like a, a hoodie in the morning. So, yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I just thought about it. Like in the morning when I go with the walks for dogs, I just for a walk with the dogs, I still wear shorts and uh, a short shirt. So. Mm -hmm. You know, not that cold yet. So it's not that cold yet. But mm. uh, we were sitting outside and we were like, okay, I need to get a sweater, right? So yeah, it's a good sign already. I'm excited. When we're getting there. Cold. We're getting mm. there. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, Julia. We talk about Baldur's Gate anyways later. So true, Baldur's Gate. We're gonna you? talk later. Uh, what's new with me? Uh, actually, quite a bit of stuff. So first of all, mm -hmm. today when we're recording, it's the 11th of September. So you hear just a little bit later. Um, it is the birthday of uh, one of my best friends, Miriam. We're going to go mm -hmm. celebrate today. We're going to... Happy birthday, Le Miriam. Uh, we got her a lot yes. of cool um, gifts. I can show show it here because when it releases, um, it will be... It probably, yeah. It's already after her birthday, yeah. so it's fine. Um, and we're going to give it to her tonight anyway. So uh, we let an artist create like a picture of her her boyfriend and her dog and we printed it okay. on a3 like it's like a cute little oh cute like it's a really specific art style right yeah but um, it's super cute it's cute right so mm -hmm. um we got this one made and then i made her it's like an imprinting machine for books i don't know you know when you go into a library or something it has mm -hmm. like a stamp on it that says mm -hmm. this book belongs to the library of, I don't know, university mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but I got like, it's like an imprinter. Have you ever been like at a train station where you can like collect those train station stamps? So it's like, wait a minute. 
I have it here. So that's been 1980s. I didn't. <laughs> You still I was bored here. back then. Um, so basically, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, it imprints into the paper. Do you see this? Yeah. So um, you basically stamp a piece of paper and it imprints a logo in it. And so we made uh, from the library off. And then in the middle, there's like a mountain and books and stars. So it's like a little bit nature inspired and reading. Mm -hmm. because she's a big, big reader reads a lot of books so she can like yeah. brand her books with her name and her oh, cool. from the library of Miriam um, in it um, so I got one of them made custom made with her name on it mm -hmm. um, on Etsy um, so cute. she's getting this then she gets a book so she can straight try it um, a cute card then I got her uh, also a nice coffee mug that I got the two of us you know the to go cup yeah yeah mm -hmm. I got you one now right or no, you didn't. I, I bought it myself. <laughs> no. Because I saw you had one. Like, Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I, we bought it. Like, Max and I bought okay, it Okay, you ourselves. did. I'm going to buy you another one. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to buy it right now. Green and brown, Julia. You have all of them already? <sighs> Max one is green. Okay, I'm going to get you another one. I'm going to get you a colored. So what? Green, <laughs> red, and brown you have? Yeah, the, the, uh, the Brombeer farb. So black you don't have yet. I don't have black. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get the black one for me. Because I literally <laughs> so if you don't know guys, there's this two go cups that you could get at Interspa. It's like a mm -hmm. glass mug, a small one that has like cork around it. You can take the cork off by the way. I don't know if you know that for yeah. the coffee mug. Yeah. And you can uh close it and have like this little lid pop uh open and close if you want to drink it. Keeps your coffee warm, looks really cute. You can mm -hmm. take it into the coffee shop. You can take a coffee somewhere. They refill it. You don't have to. So it's like a reusable to-go yeah. cup. And I just love this cup so much that I gifted everybody. And I thought I gifted it to Steffi. And I think I told her like a year ago a longer. Yeah, longer, uh, longer. Long, or two years ago that I need to give yeah. her one. And now I saw the cup with her already. And I thought I gifted it to her already. But I clearly didn't. So you're going to get another one. Because I gave it to Jess. I gave one to Miriam, I think Sabrina. So like whenever I find something new that I mm -hmm. like to use, I like to just gift it to like spread it. I like exactly spread spread good products with people. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, fuck. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got her one of those. No worries. <laughs> and then we got her also from Etsy because we support our small creators, right? Um, yeah. Just like a girl that makes cute little books that's like adventures to do with your best furry friend or something like that. It's like a small book with ideas of things you do with your dog together. So mm -hmm. it's like, I don't know, take your dog on a, a, a swimming uh, on a swimming date or something like that. So you go swimming with your dog, you take a picture. Or you go swimming with your dog, you wake up. <laughs> like a, it's, it's childish, but it's cute, okay? Crazy there, dog was just, there was just something popping up in my head. Ben told me to say something. Oh, no. That's why I'm laughing. It had to do with furry as well. Go on. Furries, okay, okay. Not not furry. Um, then there's like a page, for example, like um, give your dog a haircut and clip a little bit of the hair and put it in the book or like put a paw print of your dog inside, like just to create nice memories with your dog. Yeah. So we get to that. <laughs> <laughs> you to tell us mm -hmm. what you're th thinking about Chef is it not uh, suitable for a podcast. What the story? Mm -hmm. Nah, not really. Okay, okay. It was basically just about the first furry crush. Okay, first Because we talked crush. about Simba, right? Simba, mm -hmm. And, and mm, then we okay. talked about his first furry crush. Yeah, so it's just else. like, basically, it's just gifts for, for a crazy dog mom. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what she's getting. We're going to Le Burger today. So we're going to have some nice food. And uh, then we're just going to hang out at their place and play a little bit of uh, table tennis or something like that. Nice. Um, what else? I was cat sitting for my neighbors again. Uh, mm -hmm. Fritzi and uh, the old cat of them died. Uh, I think I said oh, that last okay. time already. It was the dad of Blinky. Um, so he he died uh, last year, beginning of the year. And mm -hmm. when he left two weeks before he died, or they had to put him down because he was so sick he couldn't eat anymore and he had only like two kilos left, or if even. Mm -hmm. uh, another stray cat showed up and started sleeping in front of the house. Oh, look. Uh, his name is Rosso because he's red. And um, yeah. so he is now also kind of like 
living there more or less. So now mm -hmm. we got a new cat without wanting a new cat. Um, but super, super <laughs> nice. And she's so cute. Every time I cat sit afterwards, when I like throw, bring her the keys back, she always gives me like a coupon for our favorite restaurants or something like that. Aww. Like it's so nice. Like I always tell her, like, I don't, I don't want anything. Like right? yeah. I just want to, I just, I I'm happy to help and take care of animals. So, um, but yeah, it was a really nice time again. Um, Aww. I got a new tattoo, super spontaneous. I got, mm -hmm. um, a tattoo from one of my uh, favorite artists, René. Uh, it's Nidonis is his name. Uh, I can also link his uh, art in um, the comment box if you want. Uh, so basically, he's an artist, a tattoo artist, that actually used to work together in the same studio with my tattoo artist. And I know mm -hmm. him for years, more or less, from um, seeing and like talking here and there. And I always wanted to have a tattoo from him. He does like some... I don't know how to say this. It's neo tradition, neo traditional mm -hmm. Japanese bold, yeah. nice lines, color. He, nowadays, it's like a lot of Japanese stuff that he does, but in his own style. And I always mm -hmm. wanted to get a tattoo from him, but somehow I never like had the like I I never made an appointment for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And um. I think I told talked about it last time that I have the appointment, right? So I told uh, like yeah, I 2017 so, yeah. or 18, he posted a wanna do. I was like, hey, I want to have this. I never made it. Then I saw that he's in town and I wrote like, hey, uh, I completely missed you in time uh, in your in town when you're here next time. Um, can I have an appointment at your place? And he's like, hey, I still got one on Wednesday. If you want to come in, we can squeeze in something small. You mm -hmm. still want the finger wanna do that I posted back then. I was like, hey, yeah, oh my God, sure. Uh, so we went there and he was like, yeah, he really wants to redo the finger a little bit. And um, it was like a witchy finger in an old style that he used to uh, draw before. And he was like, yeah, should we change it a little bit? Uh, I'm going to redraw it. Do you want any changes? And then I was like, you know what? I really like Jujutsu Kaisen. And there's like um, this fingers that you need to collect to give you power. Like I would like to have it inspired by that. And uh, mm -hmm. that's what I got. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a quick. It's so healing nice. still, so it looks a little bit crusty right now. Um, but here it is, my finger. So here's my little my little zombie slash Jujutsu Kaisen <laughs> finger. Sakuna. So cool. And um, yeah, it was super fast. He's so fast. It was done in 20 minutes. Um, crazy. 20 minutes. Like I know it's not big, but like the bold outlines, the color, everything. Like yeah. I literally laid down. And I couldn't even watch an episode of Demon Slayer, and it was already Lol. <laughs> it was already done. I think I think Demon Slayer episode was like twenty two minutes or twenty three minutes, and I skipped the intro and the outro, uh, outro, and he was still done before it was over. So he took well, like seventeen minutes or something. <laughs> yeah, super fucking fast. Fast boy. Yeah. So I'm I'm for sure gonna get more tattoos from him. He's an incredible artist. Really, really nice guy. Again, I'm going to um, leave a link to his work down below, to his Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, if you ever want to get one, he's currently um, residing in Vienna, working in Vienna mm -hmm. in a uh, tattoo shop. But he's sometimes coming to Klagenfurt as well. Um, what else is new? Um, oh, we got a new car. Or Nathan has yeah. a new car, kind of. I, like, mm -hmm. I, I say we because it's going to be our new daily car. So um, I still have my Volvo. I'm not going to sell it. We're going to keep that for like long distances. And if we need to do mm -hmm. stuff where the car is going to get dirty or transport shit or something. Um, but Nathan uh, sold his Camaro uh, one and a half, two weeks ago, finally, because mm -hmm. he just didn't, he never really used a car and was just in the garage yeah. all the time. And the thing, yeah. the thing is, Nathan and me, we both don't really drive a lot. We just have short distances. We go to the supermarket. We drive around with the dogs um here and there but it's really small amount of driving that we do no um so for us it, we decided that it would be ideal to have a electric car um we still wanted to have a car where both of our dogs can comfortably fit into um so we did a little bit of research of which cars are big enough nathan also wanted to have a fast car so it would be fun to drive as well um so uh he decided on the Tesla Model Y in performance. So it's like dual motor. So it's like a four-wheeler as well, which is really nice. And it has a really big trunk. 
in um, he bought it in uh, mm-hmm. completely black, black on black, black rims, black mm-hmm. everything, black interior. And he's actually driving to um, Salzburg tomorrow to pick it up. Oh, nice! And then we're gonna have a new electric daily car. It's actually crazy. Nice. I thought about it. My car is eight years old already. Like I bought my car eight years ago. Oh, I have really? no urge. Yeah, I have no urge to sell it or anything. But it's crazy if I think about it because I got it at the same time. We got Mira, I think, or seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seven, eight years, seven or eight years. I think it is. Mm-hmm. So it's it's actually crazy how fast the time passes. Um, yeah, and, and how a, good it's still working. Yeah, of like, course. I mean, no problem at all. To Plus, be fair, Volvo is just a very good brand. Th- those cars don't die, right? So, um, yeah. But yeah. also, I have to say that in those seven or eight years that I have the car, um, <laughs> I drove thirty six thousand kilometers. Okay, that's nothing, <laughs> absolutely yeah. nothing. So that's yeah. exactly what it's like. We don't drive a lot. That's why an electric car is also ideal for us because yeah for for us like we pay more in service almost every year to service and get the sticker for the car than we actually pay for driving the car and the thing is if you have a tesla you don't need to service the car so there's like no there's nothing you need to do to upkeep with the car beside of getting new tires or something but because we don't drive that much we don't need to replace the tires either so it's like the yeah. ideal version uh, the, the ideal solution for us um so yeah and then the last update and then we can get into our gaming talk is that starting oh it's already out for two weeks when you listen to this but there is a new uh, series on join join is kind of like an austrian netflix if you will like a mini version of it like it's a mm-hmm. online i would say german speaking area german speaking is not germany oh, yeah, as true, well it's not yeah mm-hmm. true it's actually german mm-hmm. speaking it's not not only austria it's also germany uh switzerland mm-hmm. whatever so if you are consuming uh german speaking content there is a new show on join um that is called creators world where um they visited streamers and creators from austria um and talked with us a little bit of our the good and the bad sides of being a creator um which there is also a whole the second episode is about me the first one is Vini. the second one is me the third one is wait which one is the third one is the fuck i don't know in which order it is but anyway there's like really cool creators uh you can check it out i'm uh, sure you're gonna enjoy it Jeffy, you mm-hmm. you looked at it already a little bit. I I I looked at it, Just but didn't it fully bit. watch the episode. Yeah. yeah, I need to still watch the episodes of everybody. I think I only watched the one from Vini. I watched the uh, the first cut of mine, so I didn't watch the final version of mine yet. Um, mm-hmm. so I still need to watch all of them as well. But you can completely watch it for free. You don't even have to create a, an account if you want to check it out. It's on Join. You can also leave the uh, the comments down below. It's really high production yeah. value. It's uh, very well done. I really enjoyed filming it. The people behind the project, they're also super, super nice people. Um, yeah. And I think so that was cool. it from the updates. Let's talk about the derps of the week. Obviously, we've been on for two weeks. So we have two derps of the weeks, right, Steffi? Mm-hmm. I chose two for this time because they're Her. both very nice. Uh, so I think that's Laoshi. Sayo mm-hmm. Chico 16. Sayo Chico 16. Um, and she's commenting under episode 84 previously on derps and burps. And she is replying to my hike story I told Julia in this episode. Laura says, the hike story reminded me of our little hike in Japan, XT. I started listening on Spotify, but then I came to YouTube because of the video version and never returned to Spotify, even though there's the video now as well. Personally, I really like reading the comments of the listener, of the other listeners as well. That's why I prefer YouTube. And for the times when to upload, no preference. It's all up to your schedule. That was because we asked um, you guys where you prefer to consume our content, if you, pr- uh, if you consume it more on Spotify or on YouTube. So thank you for all your feedback. We got a lot of feedback about that. Yep. Thank you very much. And just to uh, clink in into the little hike story with Laura, that was actually mm-hmm. really cute. So Laura and me, we traveled in the beginning of this year to Japan. And mm-hmm. we were... Um, in this beautiful on this beautiful island next to Hiroshima 
Um, and there was like a little mountain path. So we had the whole, like we arrived in the morning and we only had to go back like in the evening. And mm -hmm. we were like, oh yeah, let's take a little hike. And we didn't see like, like it was not that much. I think it was like only four kilometers up or something like that, the mountain and then down again. Something like only that or even less. Four or kilometers like up. Three or that four. Is... I'm not sure. Anyway, it looked like a little hike for us. Uh, yeah. Right? So we were like, oh, it's fine. We're sporty people. We got this, right? And it was still cool. So it's like, it's not going to be super hot. And we were like, okay, yeah, let's do this. And then Laura had her phone and she would always check how far it still is, right? And mm -hmm. um, like halfway up, I realized it was super steep. Like it was like um, stone steps up. Like it was really tall steps. It was really steep going up. It was not like a nice little like even hike walk where really, you can just go yeah yeah it was just steep and i i don't remember the time it felt like it was five hours but i think realistically speaking it was like a two hour hike i want to say one and a half hours two hours i don't know laura please correct me i don't remember how long it was it mm -hmm. felt like an eternity and i was like after half i was like laura i think we should turn around i i don't think this is a good idea it was really exhausting for me i was just like in the beginning i tried to not like breathe out loud so she wouldn't notice how exhausting it was for me. You're so dumb. To go. You're so yeah, dumb. I know. And it made it worse, clearly, right? Ah, and yes. then like two thirds in, I I didn't give a fuck anymore. I was breathing real loud. I started getting yeah. hangry. I got <laughs> I got I, I was like <laughs> I don't worry about it. I got really hangry and angry. Um mm -hmm. hungry and angry. So hangry. And um, yep. I was that kid that was just asking uh, Laura the whole time, how long till we up? How much more? And Laura would keep lying to me and would be like, oh, yeah, according yeah, to that, it's only 200 meters left or 500 meters left. Sure. But it was 500 meters uh, Luftlinie, like air, yeah. like just a straight air line. Air. But we had to like go up. So it was like instead it was way much more. And I was so angry and frustrated in the end and so happy when we came up. And when we were all the way up on, on the top, um, we both started crying <laughs> because I was so mad. And, and she tried to cover up that she was also like not that happy about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to admit that it was hard for her as well. And then we were like on top of the mountain going down. I was super angry. And then Laura just hugged me on the top because she just <laughs> noticed how yeah. frustrated it was and we both just started crying like fully for like no reason i mean it wasn't oh really but so it was like a super super um intense moment <laughs> for us a lot of emotions cooking up oh yeah it was it was it was physically really exhausting and emotional oh dear why was did you nice have like moment. did you have like bread with you or any like food oh my I think, gosh what i'm not sure i think we might have had one protein bar i think what? And then going down was fine. Like going down, you know, is easy. And then in the Are bottom, we had like a really, really good rub. We didn't think we would go on a hike. We thought we would just walk around an island a little bit. And then we spontaneously were like, oh, there's this nice little path up the mountain. We could go there. And uh, I think we had one small bottle of water. I think. Oh, my gosh. And, and one protein bar, I think, is what we had. I'm not sure. Though. Oh, my gosh. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Laura. I don't. I don't remember it well, but I think that's, that's how it was. It was a tough one. But Trauma. I think it made our connection even stronger. So it was mm -hmm. like, in retrospect, it was really beautiful. Like the view from mm -hmm. on top was, was really worth it. But it was more like a mental thing than it was a physical one, I think, for me. It was, uh, I mean, both. But mentally, it was even more straining than the physical. Yeah. So I feel you on that one, Steffi, on the hikes. They're hard. Crazy. Mm hmm yeah people or we underestimate like how how tough this can get and how tough this can be i mean i knew it's gonna be tough for me back then with the fucking reichenstein but people just wanted to do it so yeah, yeah. it was obviously too much for someone like even ben was on a hike on like last friday with two of his friends and they went on on one mountain like one mountain in corinthia which is an easy path, like easier mm -hmm. path to walk. And even those two girls said, and they're hiking a lot, they said, Reichenstein is just killing you. This is like, it's an insane hike yeah. if you're not like doing this at all. So yeah, it was just, let's say it was a dumb idea. Yeah, not yeah. from our side, but yeah. <laughs> 
So and then what can I say? Yeah. Then we got a comment, not from anybody, but our first patron. Who is it, Steffi? Tell us. Thank you so much, by the way. Finally Fallen, a.k.a. Mark. And he says, under episode 85 of Fresh Start, first episode I listened to on Spotify because train Wi-Fi is too bad for a video, but came here to comment anyway like the fucking simp I am. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> that Friendsgiving thing sounds amazing, just as the theme for the Halloween party. I really need friends that do cool stuff like this. When it comes to the quiz, I really have no clue about most things, but some male ducks are only colorful in mating season. Oh, makes them harder to distinguish in winter. Love ducks. Trees, no idea. Mushrooms, ugly. That's for saying for saying it, Steph. Thanks for saying it, Steph. Thank you, Mark. P.S. You will be missed next Monday. Aw, thank you. First of all, I just want to point out, Mark just reminded me of something, Steph. Do you know what he reminded me of? Yes, but I was thinking of doing this in the school episode. Or do you want to do it now? No, 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 not that, not that. Your shroom? No. What? So basically, last episode, what did Steffi uh, 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 promise me? Oh, you mean the invitation? Uh huh. Am I not invited? Did you even check your junk mail? Maybe it it it. it I it checked. Fell in junk. Mm hmm. You got it. I sent it out yesterday to everyone. Are you lying to me? No. <laughs> Ma, I know I'm lazy. So. <laughs> I wasn't sure I enough for a moment if you're lying or not. <laughs> I, was about I to do everything else, but I think about it every day and then I ghost it. my I'm just, thought. <laughs> I'm just and then I ghost my thought, I ghost myself. I get sad because I, I get ghosted by myself and then I'm like, okay, Steffi, at some point you gotta face your fear. So Don't don't worry about I, it. To be honest, I just I just need to cover for Steffi here as well. I'm sad that I didn't get my invitation yet. But I also have to say that we said that this episode is gonna be like the little test thing about school and I'm gonna teach you about trees and, and mushrooms and stuff. Uh, to be fair, I completely forgot about this. And I came in here today and I was like, oh, what are we going to talk in this, today's episode? And she was like, school episode. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I completely no. forgot about that. But in two that weeks, is. guys, you're going to get it. Yeah. I'm going to prepare myself. I'm going to teach you about leaves. I'm going to go out. I'm going to collect leaves for you. I'm going to show you. This is an acorn. We could even make, like, look this crazy, like, hiking trip a woman where you film yourself and then, like, you... You touch the leaves on the ground and like tell us and you sniff <laughs> on it and stuff. Know what I mean? Look, guys, this is very a treasure here. We're not going that far. We're not going that far. <laughs> <laughs> not going that far. We can do that together if you want. We can go and make yeah. like a vlog out of it if you want. We can do like Steffi and Julia explore the forest together. Yeah. Could go I need help. to download an app like what the what the leaf, what the shroom app, you know yeah. what I mean? Where yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Go I mean that's you. actually really nice that that's there. Because like I remember back in the day. When I went like to collect mushrooms with my granny, like she would, got killed. she <laughs> knows everything. No, but there's like, for yeah. example, Stein und Herrnpilze. For example, there's like a difference. Like I think the ones like if you look on the bottom, they need to be squishy. They need to have a sponge on the bottom. Then mm -hmm. there's good ones, and if they have lamellen, if they have the rims mm -hmm. on the bottom, they're toxic. Okay. So with the ones that look like Herrn or Steinpilz, I think I don't mm -hmm. remember hundred percent. Like I. Um, and then there's also something like if you press the sponge, if it just turns dark, it's fine. But there's some when you mm -hmm. press the sponge down, it turns blue or red than the toxic. Oh, okay. So there's stuff like that, depending mm -hmm. on which. There's also fake parasol and real pe uh, parasol, mm -hmm. um, that kind of stuff. So I know a little bit about mushrooms as well, still. Like I would have to refresh. Like I have a whole mushroom book. I think still or I need to see if my dad has it I'm not 100% sure mm -hmm. but like thinking about it how hard it was in the past to be like oh yeah I need to be careful that I don't eat the to access this information myself. yeah mm -hmm. and now you can just have like a, a, an app that can scan and tell you like oh yeah that's fine to eat that's, yeah. that's pretty nice um, yeah. but yeah we're actually super frightened we're 50 minutes in already um, let's talk right, guys, about the games minutes, talk about the games yeah, let's go I'm our big time <laughs> Baldur's Gate 3, <laughs> everyone is simping for someone. I don't know if you play in a full-on group or with the NPCs like Julian get fucked by all of them because she loves them all. 
Um, the only thing I did was I let Asterian suck on me, but obviously my teammates are crying like, no, if you don't do it, you're not gonna win, you need to fight me, me, me. So I, I wasn't allowed to do it every night when we were in camp. So I did it, I think, three times for now. Mm-hmm. Um, I did it secretly when they weren't listening. So I went to Asterian when we were in the camp and I was like, you can suck on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the morning they saw it, obviously like, because you have this red Did you have snoo snoo with him yourself. or did you just let him suck No, it I didn't have snoo snoo with anyone yet in the game. That's we don't the best really part. romance the with romancing is so good. NBC Are you not playing NBC. a solo playthrough as well? <sighs> no, I don't like this. That's the thing, like, that's where we're completely different. And that's honestly where I thought you won't enjoy the game. Because mm-hmm. I even a thought the same that I would hate like it. Me, because you had no clue about D and D characters, classes, races, like me, right? Mm. And for me, in the beginning, what I enjoy the most about Baldur's Gate Three is being in a full party with three of my friends. And if shit happens, shit happens. I do not want to control three other characters for the sake mm. of the like first playthrough as the real story. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to go on this adventure with my friends. Whatever happens, happens. And I do not want to because obviously, if you play alone you control all of them so you make every single step of each character but if you play with a full group there's so much funny stuff happening because you have four different individuals mm. like coming yeah, together yeah, yeah, sure. and my cousin for example enjoys the most like enjoys it the most when he can play these games alone mm. like he enjoys it to be able to control every single step yep. of every character do everything by himself and i'm like and especially because it's kind of like with sorcerer wizards and all the stuff. There's so much stuff uh, with D and D. I am not like really um, like skilled with mm-hmm. that. I do not enjoy that much when I play it alone. Okay. I enjoy it the most in a group, and everyone has their unique character and tries to do fun stuff and like mm. succeed in the fights and wherever okay so yeah and I, that's uh, honestly where i thought you gone like you won't same. like it if you play alone nathan, you get bored, nathan but thought obviously the same. You didn't. no it's mm-hmm. the exact opposite so honestly yeah. i was super afraid I, w- I bought the game even like two weeks before i didn't touch it for two weeks when i bought it and i was like i'm mm-hmm. at one point i'm gonna play it with Stephanie and everybody it's gonna be fine you know i'm gonna do it so i can spend time with my friends that's why i thought and then I was like, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm kind of uh, fucked up of Valorant. I'm like, I'm tilted on it. Let me just try this. I'm going to just do a, a Baldur's Gate stream so I can at least have the basics. And once I play with you guys, I at least understand what's going on. And I'm going to be honest. I think I have like 20 hours alone, 15, 20 hours alone. Mm-hmm. And yesterday I played my second uh, save or like my sep- second playthrough. My second, second session. Session. Together mm-hmm. with Martin. So we played together. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, the first day of playing, I was just super overwhelmed because of all of the things that you said. Obviously, like the yeah. different classes, so. uh, the turn-based uh, playthrough, what the attacks and everything does, uh, the stats, what's important to look uh, off. Like, obviously, I'm still far away from being like um, good in knowing what it is. But I think, first of all, it's a weird comparison, but I think if you play games... Like, it, it helped me that I played a lot of different games before. Like, I played World of Warcraft. So, mm-hmm. even though it has nothing... Diablo, exactly. Even though it has nothing to do with Dungeons and Dragons, still, I know, like, that there's different classes. What is a melee character? What is a druid? Like, those yeah. kind of things are similar in those kind of games. Then when it comes to the turn-based kind of stuff, I played a lot of Final Fantasy games, like the solo player Final Fantasy games. Mm-hmm. And most of them are round based as well, at least the older ones. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is similar as well. Um, the funny thing is, though, the way I played it alone, so I enjoy it because for me, to be honest, like I started playing it and I met Asterion, right? So if anybody of you played this game, you know who Asterion is. He is our walking red flag. He is our dating simulator character in the game that everybody will simp for unless you're into women. Then you're probably simping for Shadow Bay and that's okay as well. Um, But I think 
that is why I enjoy it. Or I, I don't know if I would enjoy it as much playing with four people, if I'm going to be honest. I enjoyed a lot playing alone to just like running around, exploring, making my mm -hmm. own decision, not having to be like, oh, yeah, should we do that or should it not? Like, I can just do my decision and then be like, okay, if I fuck up, I fuck up. You know, like if my decision fucks up three other people, it's a little bit worse, right? But that's the funny thing. Of like, you have funny no as well. clue what kind of like bullshit happened already because I was throwing stuff at Sims, for example. It was something I gathered somewhere, an item. And then a whole behold came out of this. This is like a demon. Oh, uh, you've. Demon the, the, monster. The iron flask? You threw the iron flask at him? I think so. I what, killed the one eye thingy came out? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <sighs> I, in a small house, I did that because I thought I could just throw it onto Sims for some reason and, and, and catch him. Cuss! Yeah, it says for it my, can capture like, defense, something or. This, yes, I and in Vox Machina. Vex does it with trinket. She has his little, her little talisman where she can collect trinket like a pokeball, right? And she's carrying her um, familia with her in this little trinket. So I was like, hmm, maybe I can pull in sips. So I threw the flask onto him and fucking summoned a behold in a small room. Look, he died instantly because he had like 12 HP full. And I was like, okay, well, I'm sorry for this. <laughs> Max was already in the next like, um, stage, like under mm -hmm. in the basement. So, and he came back and it was just a whole cluster fuck on top. And we were like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> so those are the things I really enjoy. I mean, that's there's fun so as much well. like dumb stuff happening. For me, I'm going to be, first of all, the story is really good, right? So, yeah. but I personally enjoyed the dating simulator. <laughs> aspect of the game a lot and for me the voice actors in this game are just 10 out of 10 like every single one of them is so good mm -hmm. the dialogues the different yeah. stories like it, it is so good and Astarion just the whole story of building up this relationship with him is super super intense and like oh I I, I really I just love it it's it's like the red flag that I I need it to virtually date. Like, I just think... It's my hyperfixation. I wake up and I think about Asterion. I go to bed. I think about Asterion. I go on my phone. I'm on TikTok. I am on Asterion TikTok. I'm on Baldur's Gate TikTok. <gasps> that is all... This is my, my whole life at the moment. Love it. And um, so I really, really enjoy it. I think I'm now at the point where I understand how everything works. I'm comfortable in doing everything. I don't feel like I'm super lost in the game anymore. And um, yeah. I wanted to ask you something sure. about like the rogue role because mm -hmm. uh, Asterion is a rogue as well, right? He's a rogue, yeah. And um, I don't know if you, if someone like told you already, but as a mm -hmm. rogue, you have like, for example, dashing and hiding, like as a cunning, right? You have hiding already with Asterion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a standard so, thing that everybody yeah. has. And I didn't check yesterday if you do it, but what you can do with Asterion just to improve like fighting and damage mm -hmm. with him, um, if you press shift, you see um the, the red area. areas yeah. Where, yeah and if you as a bonus action hide first and then do your action you will deal more damage yeah i know that. rogues okay 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 good okay nice yeah i i had I to, just wanted to figure that out but the yeah. funny thing is so yesterday i started my second run with martin and it's mm -hmm. funny because like martin we're kind of similar far in our solo run so we both are mm -hmm. still in act one because we try to clear everything before we go into act two um, mm -hmm. but he did way different things than me and he did way different decisions than me right so we're mm -hmm. like at this point and then we're like okay what did you do in your run okay so you you killed him did you did you save her and whatever <laughs> and so basically my main run is like i'm the hero i'm the good person i try to help everybody but i romance a sterion so i still need to mm -hmm. be a little bit evil because if you so you probably don't know that because you don't play that much solo but if you play solo and you have your companions with you that are NPCs, the decisions that you make uh, make the character like or dislike you, right? So yeah. Asterion is That's evil. still a thing, even in, like, if you play as four. Oh, you still see who like, approves and disapproves stuff? Yeah, yeah, you can, like, some people like you, some people don't, depending on what you how do. you okay. talk. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I have to do some evil stuff so Asterion would have sex with me, right? Oh so that's, that's the price I oh gotta pay. Oh my god! That's the price I gotta pay 
for my demon boy, uh, for my vampire boy, and that's fine, okay? And then I have my second playthrough where I'm playing the Dark Urge, which, by the way, if you haven't played Dark Urge yet, and I created my character. So my, my main character is a druid, white hair, you know, a, a daughter of the forest, kind of like that kind of stuff. And then my she second cool, one, by the way. she looks really cool. But I figured out that everybody makes their a druid that looks exactly the same. So every girl that plays has a character that looks exactly like my main character. <laughs> but anyway, I feel like my new character is my action main. So I'm playing Dark Urch. I made her look like the gothic emo mom mm -hmm. dream girl of everybody Honestly, in 2006. Yeah. She reminded me of like a night sister because you have these little tattoos as well in your yeah, face. Yeah, like right? I have like a flame in the middle of my forehead and like a. Yes. Like, you reminded me of like night sisters of Star Wars with uh, the first version. Yeah. I saw it yesterday when you created it. So yeah, I made like an evil warlock. I'm also obviously mm -hmm. also dating uh, dating Asterion. Asterion. So what we do, I play together with uh, my best friend Martin. And um, what we're doing is, so we're two people playing. I'm playing a high charisma, high intelligent warlock. And he mm -hmm. plays a uh, barbarian orc that has no int, no charisma, just strength. So he's all about smash and I'm That's all like about brains. Yeah, and um, I'll send you my second one. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'm gonna send you my my later as well if you want. Um, so basically, he romances Shadow Bay, and I'm romancing mm -hmm. Asterion. So he mm -hmm. controls Shadow Bay, I control Asterion. So each of us has two characters. So it's way smoother <laughs> and easier and nicer to play. We're super fast with seven and a half hours played. We're almost as far as I am in my main story already. Plus, we did mm -hmm. a lot of small things on the side. And um, because both of our characters like when we're being evil, so we're making like a goofy slash evil playthrough. So we do evil mm -hmm. shit. We're super clumsy shit all the time. And uh, snoo snoo our our two characters all the time. This is my guardian as so. all. I want to snoo snoo my guardian. I'm going to look at it later. I can't, if I, if yeah, I open yeah, it now, it, it, will, it will fuck up the recording. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I I I'd fuck my my guardian as well. Dude. I I don't know if you can. I'm not that far yet in the story to know if if that's possible. But I would. Um, and also I found out that while you're in the beginnings of dating Astarian, you can basically have sex with everybody else, till you get super serious with Astarian, and then oh damn, okay, okay, till because it. you know in the beginning he's like a polyamorous guy he's like having fun with everybody mm. you can even have a four or five some with him by the way okay with him should i spoil with who nah okay so you can have a four or five some with a stereo you a stereo and then some more people mm -hmm. but it's really specific circumstances that that's possible i'm just saying so he's a polyamorous boy but the longer you go on, the more you do with him, the further you adventure with him. At one point, he's going to make you choose. I am um, wondering if you can get to this like level of romance in a four group. Like Probably in a group not. of four. Because you can ne like we never take any of the NPCs with us, obviously. Because we play as four. I'm not sure. You miss a lot of stuff, though, if you don't take the NPCs with you. Because some things, some events only trigger in a world when you have the NPC with you. So certain things you cannot experience no, no, if no. you don't have them with That's you. That's different then because they're there. For example, um, if there's something with Gale, Gale mm -hmm. is in this like area then. And not then everything. Not everything. Okay. Not everything. Okay. Um, okay. For because example, that's how it happened. For example, least. there's the one thing where um in the first act where there's the house burning and you need to save somebody out of a burning house. Do you remember that? And then you need to find the duke that got missing. Uh I can't remember that. It's like next that. to the orcs where the orcs were fucking you go over the bridge and then there's like a burning house. You need to save somebody out of a burning house. And then yeah. they send you to find the duke. And basically, if you don't have Will with you, there's if you have Will with you, he's like, oh no, the duke is my father. And then you find out that he's a highborn, that he's actually coming out of a noble family. And he's not just a flame guy. But I, th nah, I think 
probably there is a few things that only happen with the characters, but most of the core stories you get yeah, to know you get as well, either but, way. For example, yeah, yeah. like we like did special that, things. When right? I played alone, I had Will with me, so I had the actual mm-hmm. cutscene where he's there and he's reacting to everything. And mm-hmm. Martin and me were played without Will in our party. Mm-hmm. So instead of that, we just come to the camp and then you can talk to Will and he's like, oh no, he's my dad. But that's not as... Uh-huh, you know. okay. But yeah, there's yeah. also a thing. So, so for example, for a romancing a character, what happens is you should do the most long rests you can and not just turn it out. Because every time, so let's say you meet a Sterion, it triggers one something that happens in a long rest. You do something else from your long story, it queues up. So every long rest, there's only one thing that can happen. And the more things mm-hmm. that happen in the world, it just queues up. So you have to do a lot of long rests to actually experience all the mm-hmm. things. So the less you long rest, the less cool experiences you're going to have. Yeah. So there's like a lot of things like that as well. It's um, nice Easter eggs though as well for people who want to play alone. Oh yeah. That you have these like special scenes and stuff. And... Like, no matter if you play in a group of four or alone or as two, there's always, like, new things, you know? That's what I really like Every about. playthrough is there's completely different. a lot different. of things As, as I said, yeah. like, the whole story of yeah. how I played with Martin is so different than my own mm. playthrough already. It is, like, mind-blowing yeah. to me, right? Like, you, yeah. for example, the goblin camp, you can decide to either kill all the druids and side with the goblins... Or you can kill all the goblins and side with the druids. Or you can decide to kill just both parties and just fuck them both. Yeah. You know? Um, And depending on who you kill, uh, gives you more chances to have sex with other people or romance new characters (laughs) that you cannot if you kill them and so on and so on. So, like, every decision that you take has a consequence. So, I, I think I read somewhere... With all the decisions, there's 17,000 different scenarios your nice. story can go. Depending that is on, so cool. So you can play the game over and over and over again. And yeah. you will always have another um, yeah. way the story turns out. And that's also, I think, why it's so cool. Because, for example, me, when I watch other people's streams or I watch TikTok or YouTube videos, I'm not afraid of getting spoiled. Because I know that my story, of course, like the main storyline... different is somehow the same, right? Like, the, there's a red line through everything. But yeah. they made decisions way before that made them be yeah. at a complete different point where I am right now. Yeah. And for example, my second playthrough with Martin, my characters do so much more damage because I skilled them the right way than mm-hmm. when I made my first one. So I need to go <clears throat> to Withers and respec everything on, on my first run. But yeah, like yeah. I really have to say Baldur's Gate... 10 out of 10, love it. Be- best game ever created, by far. I'm so I'm so happy that you I'll enjoy never, it a lot as well. That's that my new favorite story game. So cool. I love so it. Cool. And, and that you can play it together is just the cherry and on top. And you're gonna, oh my god, Act 2, Julia. You're gonna love, like, there's so much cool stuff happening. Like, yeah. scenery-wise. Like, where you go stuff, like, dark stuff. It's mm. so cool. It's so cool. I'm, really, so, like I'm really excited to play more. That's what I'm going to mm-hmm. do. I'm going to make food now and then I'm going to go play with Martin Same. Seymour Baldur's Gate. Oh, no. so. We're going to play tomorrow. You can play tomorrow? Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think that was it. We kind of wanted to talk about CSGO as well, but I think we ran out of time. No CSGO. Uh, maybe we're going to talk about it next time. Yeah. One question. Um. We just want to know, like, who's your favorite? Oh, if, yeah. If you have Who are you favorite? romancing? Do you want to romance anyone? Because I haven't gotten any snoo snoo yet, sadly. Julia, got how all are the you in or... Act Two and have no snoo snoo? I no, had... because we actually focus on the game, Julia, and not a fucking. What do you mean? It's a people it's a it's game. a dating okay. simulator. Okay, you play it the wrong doing way. It this way, playing it wrong, Steffi. Yeah, I know. Sims you... is always in underwear when he has like dialogues and wants to like romance everyone. And as soon as I want to get sucked by a stir and everyone's like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Max lets me. Max is just laughing. But it's Sims is always like, no, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Anyways, let us know you who's your favorite. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Let us know which race and cla- uh, class you play. I want to know what people enjoy a lot. I am a tiefling rogue on my main story mm-hmm. with my four-man group. 
And in my solo session, I am a, I think, half elf druid. Okay. And I was inspired by karma. Like I created, I tried to recreate karma from League of Legends. Oh, cute! In my in my main run, uh, second run, in the second run. TLDR on my main, I'm a, a forest elf druid. Druid, yeah. Uh, that is a good girl, blonde hair, the ni- the nice girl, in Roman singer Sterion. Mm-hmm. In uh, uh, oh yeah, and my guardian is my emo boyfriend of my dreams. Okay, he looks like mm-hmm. he's the singer of a metalcore band. And then in my second run, which kind of is my, the run that I even like more, um, that one, I am the badass emo goth girlfriend, meanie, black hair <laughs> siren looking, eat you alive warlock. And uh, also romancing Asterion and also having my uh, metal band frontman as a guardian. <laughs> that's, that's cute what it looks like so uh let us know about your playthrough what are you playing who are you hyper mm-hmm. on um and as usual thank you so much for listening and watching uh we appreciate you don't forget to subscribe like uh you know thumbs up everything you know where it goes support us on patreon support us on patreon if you want to be shouted out by us if you want to have uh future <clears throat> extra information again thank you mark for being our first patron um, we appreciate you. We love you all. And we see you again next week. Bye. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. I'm sorry. Bye, 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 bye. See you in two weeks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>